Hello everybody, it's Reviews and More, back with a quick household item slash tech review. This is a GE Grow Light for greens, flowers, etc. Designed for indoor use, obviously because it's a grow light. So, uh, first off, these are standard uh, normal bulbs basically that emit light and UV rays that can actually help plants out. So, what these are intended for is to be used like on like an indoor herb garden that's like mounted to a wall or in a kitchen. Maybe you have some like wall mounted plants and you put a light over top of it. It's kind of meant to be kind of like fancy and cool looking. I'm going to be testing them in a different capacity just whether or not they can actually keep things or keep things uh, like seedlings propagated and healthy for a longer period of time. All right, so you see me setting up three different ones here. I only use two of them. I have the main uh, plant that's going to be under that grow light right there on a time lapse. And then I got the one that's going to be in my control that gets no extra light. So the one that gets no light is just going to be whether it germinates and grows, just using whatever light's available in my garage at any given time. So it gets a minimal amount of actual outside light through any kind of window on my garage, that kind of stuff. So there's the windows over there. Now the other, the other uh, little pot that you're going to see is going to be a rather little cup full of peat moss is going to be under the actual light we're testing the little GE 9 watt light for growing things both of these are in the exact same materials in peat moss a very very low nutritional value substrate but it's more designed for germination so what you're going to see is you're going to see a time lapse it really takes almost 30 days just to really see how well this thing can maintain the seedling um, under the under the good those lighting conditions compared to um, not having any functional real actual outdoor or outdoor simulated light on the plant. On the left hand side you'll see just the control with no extra light. On the right hand side you'll see the time lapse going over the um, actual light, uh, the actual plant that you're seeing time lapsed on the right hand side that I'm setting up right there in the video. Now as you're watching this you're gonna see obviously a lot of growth happening on both sides because the germination typically when you're looking at this kind of situation in peat moss, there's very little nutritional value in the peat moss that the plants and the seeds can extract from. So they basically are using the seed itself and the water you're providing. So really the only nutrition that this thing's really pulling in is from the water that you pour in as well as the um, actual seed itself. That's why seedlings that are like left in peat pots don't ever get really big. So you got to transplant them into more rich soil. So you see here on the left-hand side, they're more or less identical. There's a little bit of dirt on top of the other ones are just pushing more dirt through. Um, overall, this basically the same results really no faster because most of the growth of seedlings happens because of the nutrition that's in the seed itself so you're not really going to see much change where you see a lot of change happen is as you get further and further along you see the mold developing on the left hand side there on the right hand side you don't because under light 24 7 in this case i didn't have it on a timer it's better to put these on a timer like 12 hours on 12 hours off to simulate um night and day helps the plant out but that's kind of what the results you get. So over time, you're seeing these images go by. You see the pictures, everything happening. And that left-hand side is just like falling apart and dying. And that's just more or less the result of it not getting natural light. The plant isn't able to maintain itself. And then it just kind of falls apart. And the remainder of the video is going to be just it, the uh, actual plant on the right hand side of the time lapse transplanted into an actual little pot. It has some worms rolling around in there from my worm bin and also has some rich, nice soil. So you're going to see a lot more fast and more efficient growth take place. So that's the video, guys. I hope it kind of gives you an idea what's going on there. The grow light will help maintain those seedlings. It will work till I keep things going, but you have to have a rich soil for it to work. If you don't put any light on the plant at all, as you saw on the left-hand side earlier, it just kind of falls apart and dies because it doesn't have anything to kind of work with. It needs that simulated, sun simulated sunlight or actual sunlight to kind of work its way through things and stay rigid and propped up. The grow light will help maintain seedlings over a longer period of time. So if you're in a situation like Let's say you're setting up a garden and you're doing a bunch of grow lights and you're trying to get your seedlings started up so you can plant them right away and there's a cold snap. These will let you basically keep your plants alive in seedling size, at the seedling size longer inside, inside the house as opposed to if you just germinate it without any kind of extra lighting, it's going to eventually kind of fall apart on you. So overall, cool little light. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like and subscribe button. Helps out the channel and have a great day.